Ah mtazamaji kabla ya kuzamia mada yetu ya leo manake wageni wangu wa Shafika nataka nikupeleke moja kwa moja hadi katika majengo ya seneti ambapo gavana Hilary Barchok wa kaunti ya Bomet hivi sasa anahojiwa na kamati ya bunge la seneti within that financial year but uh, because this is a challenge we have seen in 47 counties where treasury sends money into the new year and forces counties to account for it in the preceding year it is one of those things that this committee must take up with the treasury um any observations from members senator lintul uh, i really agree with you and uh, you know at times we are forced to when you try to interrogate the thinking of some of our, fin- our um, government officers you realize that i think they are very insensitive to existing standards and rules that govern um uh, uh normal practice either in business in whatever it is so whatever i think ndongo is trying to do here I agree with you is completely wrong and i think there is an act of impunity i agree with you i think it's time we really in uh, we also need to ask or inquire from them the basis of coming up with this this kind of proposals because they will mess everyone and uh, create a lot of confusion in the in the in the account in the manner in which we account for resources thank you vice chair the only thing that is that it will not be excusable for you governor to tell us that you had pending bills at the end of the year because of late disbursements because the money came in full and you are given a window of i think 15 days at the close of the financial year to receive and to pay so when we come to the conversation on pending bills uh, then it will not be sustainable to blame the treasury for late disbursements if you recognize these monies in this financial year so we proceed members yes, yes uh, we, we can proceed uh, chair let's move to the next issue on unsupported payments auditor general thank you honorable chair the next uh, query is query number 2 on unsupported payments the statement of receipts and payment for the year ended 30 june 2018 reflects payment totaling kenya shillings 939 million 223 and kenya shillings 604 million 076569 in respect of expenditure on use of goods and services and acquisition of assets respectively however included in those amounts are payments totaling Kenya shillings 233 million 474 812 under various sub items which were not supported by payment vouchers and other documentary evidence such as contracts and completion certificates as detailed below use of goods training expenses 65 million 247 hospitality supplies maybe taxes. you could just refer to the table uh, just refer to the total amount uh, queried and your conclusion there okay the the, the total amount queried is uh, 233 million 474 812 consequently the validity and regulator the expenditure of kenya shillings 233 million 474 812 cannot be confirmed thank you chair governor's response thank you honorable chair the vouchers and other supporting documents that were missing during the time of audit have been retrieved and are available this was occasioned by shifting of documents while relocating from one office to the other coupled with high sta- staff turnover since the new administration took over when contracts of most of the contractor staff were lapsing and still uh, honorable chair i think it's good to point out that um, after the panning down of one of our offices we had to secure our documents so kind of we shifted all documents to a central place where we were thinking is secure so the schedule of the missing documents together with the vouchers have been availed for audit verification and sample copies are attached here with as annex 2 auditor general the whatever has been provided in annex 2 have you had occasion to look at it because uh, there's no way this committee is going to go through these lso's and uh, 
and uh, the items that ought to have been presented to you during the audit. Uh, uh, Governor, even though I asked that question to the Auditor General, it does not take away the fact that you are in breach of Section 62 of the Public Audit Act. Section 62 of the Public Audit Act, uh, we, we have a responsibility to guide the Governor. It's his first time in the Senate, so he might not be aware. Could someone read it out for us? Naam, ni mahojiano yanayoendelea uh, kamati ya seneti na mhoji gavana Hillary Barchok kuhusiana tu na matumizi ya fedha katika kaunti ya Bomet. Uh, mengi zaidi tutakuwa tunaarifiwa baadaye na mwanahabari wetu ambaye yuko huko akifuatilia matukio yanavyoendelea.